Hello darlings and welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be a small business vlog. Last time I told y'all that I would eventually show you a pouring day. And today's going to be a pouring day. Pouring days are probably more interesting to watch than watching us do inventory. And they're also a little bit more chaotic. There's a lot going on. But I wanted to record this now because as it gets closer to the holiday season, it's going to get a lot more hectic and it's going to be harder to record a poor day. So we're going to record it now while it's September and um, we, like, we have 10 orders and some of them have multiple candles. So I'm going to show you our process and everything that happens, um, it's going to be me and my sister. We usually divide and we have two different jobs. She does most of the pouring and mixing of the candles and I do a lot of prep for packing. Um, I write all the thank you notes by hand, I gather all the materials that we're going to need to pack, I print all the labels that we're going to need to label the candles and I help her pour in between that when I can. And then uh, the next day I usually stylize the candles, which means add any, adding any glitter and marbleizing the candles that need marbleization. So that's what we're gonna be doing for this video. This wasn't the video that I wanted to record and post today. Um, I have an exciting new series coming up, but I needed a little bit more time for that one and I'm really excited about it. For now, let's get started. Before we get started with today's order, we have to label the tea lights from the last order. We pour our candles in small batches and there's usually some wax left over. Instead of wasting the wax, we pour the wax in these aluminum tea lights. Every order gets one tea light candle as a sample. We try to pair the tea light with the order based on what we believe the customer would like. I'm going to label the tea lights with this labeler, and then I'll show you what they look like after. Ta-da! Now I'm going to organize the tea lights. We have two drawers filled with plastic bags that have cardboard backings. We try to reduce the amount of single-use plastics we use in the business and in life. This is a temporary solution and we're hoping to find a better way to organize the tea light candles down the line. After the tea lights are organized, I will return the drawers back to their proper place and then move on to the next phase of the day. Something else that has to happen before we can pour. We have to wipe down all of our supplies with rubbing alcohol. This is to make sure that no dust or debris is remaining from the last pour or from sitting on the shelves until we pour it again. Okay, so I'm going to print out the labels. I'm not going to show you that because it's just me on the computer. I have my label sheets out and ready. Um, we just print our labels out with Avery right now. So that's the website we use. And then I'm going to start gathering all the other materials, which I will show you. Okay guys, what I'm about to do is gather all the materials I need to um, write thank you notes and prepare for packing. Um, packing can take forever if you don't pre-prepare for it. So um, there's a generator that's filled with packing supplies. I'm gonna get some of these envelopes and I'm going to put fragile labels on them and then I'm going to get some of this stuff out for writing thank you notes and I'm going to combine everything together. Um, I also need to prepare some tea light samples as well for the packages and all of that will go with like the, the letter, the tea lights sample and the uh, tissue paper, foam and um, bubble wrap will all be folded up and put into the envelope with um, a sheet that says 
what the order is and who it's going to. And so when we go to pack, we'll just have the envelope, I'll have everything in it with the boxes, which I will also prepare. So that's what we're doing. So we just ran out of envelopes. We just have enough to get most of our orders done. But I had to stop to order from the USPS store. What you are viewing now is sped up footage of me putting fragile label stickers on the front and back of these envelopes. We do this just to ensure that whoever is handling the package does realize that there is something fragile within the package. Um, and I feel like that has been effective. After that, I gathered all the materials I needed to write thank you notes and to pack the candles. After that, I went on to the living room where I saw that Samantha had poured most of the candles and hadn't alerted me. So we're going into footage of her working on the candles. Um, this was the last candle that she's actually working on that I filmed. It was a two ounce red candle. And this is just footage of her stirring the wax and monitoring it. Honestly, whenever I film something like this and I'm just like viewing myself in my pajama, pajamas working, I wonder why I just didn't do a podcast instead. But here I am on YouTube questioning my life choices and watching Samantha melt a candle, which is now about to be poured, so here we go. Okay. We are finally pouring a candle on film. So there you have it, the magic of seeing one of the candles actually poured. And here are all the other candles that we actually poured that day. Um, we have a few more from this batch to pour on another day, but there we are. And now I welcome you to what is probably the longest sped up footage we have in the video. Um, during this time, I was writing all of the thank you notes. I personalized them and tried to make them fun. But I was also um, preparing all the packaging stuff that I mentioned before to slip into the envelope and Samantha helped out as well to make the process go by a lot quicker than it would have if it was just me doing it at this phase. And that's it for today's video, darlings. I'm sorry you didn't get to see us pour more candles. Um, it's kind of hard when there's two different people and we're doing two different jobs and Samantha's not really used to recording herself all the time. It can get really busy and there's a lot to do, um, but that's it. That's that's the life of a, of a candle maker, the pouring day of a candle maker. Some people just pour and that's all they do but we try to kind of uh, multitask so we can do a lot in less time and so that's why we tend to divide she'll work on the candles and I'll work on like everything else it's just a lot of little stuff but it adds up when you don't prepare for it um, it can take a long time regardless I hope you found it interesting and if you enjoyed this video, please do the normal and smash the like button, ring the bell for notifications, and tippity tappity in the comments to tell me what you think. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I will get a flow of that eventually. Um, but for now, here's your bonus points for watching. Enjoy all the sun glare that seems to be going on. All the light beams <laughs> and I am going to go eat ice cream and chill out so I'll see you in the next video. Bye!